down. I did promise you I'll, I'll debrief, didn't I? So we'll try and see what we can do about it. Ah, uh, right, Basel. I don't know what you would think. We're in the old town today, um, and it was quite interesting. A lot of um, buildings. I was actually quite surprised. They weren't as old as what I really expected them to be, to be honest. But then, I know it's Switzerland, and uh, I know Switzerland's supposed to be neutral in the last war. I would guess there'd be some damage done by bombing, uh, which I know there was. But this uh, Switzerland didn't go quite without being uh, targeted a, a little bit in the Second World War. Um, but we'll go a couple of times. So we, we went and we saw the old Minster. We enjoyed that. Um, uh, that interesting little building. I don't know. I think that that was possibly. I mean, somebody's going to tell them what it is, surely. But it looked uh, like a um, kind of, kind of like some kind of student quarter or a, a um, university kind of a college kind of a. But in times gone by, maybe to do with a church, I don't know. But anyway, no man. Uh, it was heavily decorated as if it was churchy kind of a thing. Um, we'll leave that one, don't quite know. Really enjoy the little ball crown Basel. Um, it's a easy, easy the city centre. Just, it's meant for a disabled person. The trams are just everything. It took me about two seconds to work it out. Anywhere you want to go, you can just go. Whichever quarter you want to be in, you can go. Uh, there's absolutely no uh, and no problems in getting anywhere and it's just everything is meant for a wheelchair you just get off the, the straight onto the trams and the trains are exactly the same and buses buses are exactly the same there's ramps that come out all automatically nobody has to get out and and lift you like we do in our country oh no they're all hydraulic they all just come out the whole bus goes right down and you just get on and it's just like everything has been thought about. It's like the bathrooms, when you go in the bathroom, every little detail is thought about. It's quite embarrassing really that our country is just so far behind. It really is. It's just, just, it's just a second thought to what goes on in Britain. Anyway, that's what I mean. Um, I did want to go to another little spot today, which unfortunately I'm not, I didn't get a chance to go. I got a punch on the way, that second punch of the trip. Um, a little spot where all three <clears throat> of the countries meet in one place, in one little segment, in the little tower there. And um, there's the German quadrant and the Swiss quadrant and the French quadrant and I was just going to, it, it was just an opportunity to sit there and I was going to have a discussion and just kind of say about what I've come to gather about uh, what I've seen that I make out of the, the Swiss are just, the Swiss are just very friendly people, um, they don't have any problems with anything, <laughs> apart from it. Um, their lifestyle is actually second to none. Um, they've got the country that we are uh, in a perfect world. <laughs> they've got a national health service that is actually off the scale of, or uh, the medical side of things are off the scale of. Everything to do seems to be. Absolutely top notch, it's a big bang on uh, the transport systems, the integrated transport system, absolutely fantastic. Everything about the country is crazy. Um, you can't really pick up all that, they're just too damn perfect. Um, great country for the sporting side of things. 
And then you come to the uh, kind of French segment. Oh, I don't see much of it at the moment because I'm only just touching the. Uh, I'm only just hearing the French side now. Um, so I will be going on the French side of the Rhine as I go north. Now at last we're going north. We're heading towards the North Sea. A long, long last. Um, yeah, and then talking about the final segment, the uh, the German. Don't really know. I don't really know. The, the, uh, I, I, when I came, I've met German, German people before, and it seems to be all or nothing. I can't can't get. Just the intermediate kind of thing, it's just don't know what to do, make of it. It's as if, as if they're kind of hiding or ashamed of something, there's something in the background that they don't want to know about and they're trying desperately to forget. That's really how I can be, something in the background that just won't let them just be, the, just let go. Be themselves, I, I, I can't work it out, but it's just there. I mean, look at the other three countries. You've got Switzerland, it's neutral, it's only fought one war and it lost badly. And that was way, way back in 15 something, blah, de, blah, de, blah, against the southern power. And it got itself well trounced, and ever since it's been neutral. You got France, which is just an imperial power. Has always been around. And you got Germany. Germany's only a new country. It's only been around for 150 years. In that time, they seem to have upset most of the bleeding neighbours. But well, anyway, best said, the less said about that, the better. Anyway. Yeah, on the way there, I uh, I got another puncture. Crazy thing is, it's at the side of the road, leads to the puncture. But the amount of people who come up and say, "What happens if you get a puncture?" What? What happens if you get a puncture? What are you going to do if you get a puncture? Well, I just thought it was my legs were missing. I don't know, I lost my, head, my arms and my head. You know. How do you think I'm going to fix a puncture? It's the same as everybody else fixes a puncture. What a stupid. Well, sorry about that little glitch there. We ran out about it. That was me talking too much and ranting too much. Anyway, that's the discussion about where we didn't go uh, and the tram lines. Yeah, I went over the tram line and I got the puncture. Um, Second one now, uh, not a problem. Don't know if it was feedback as we go again. Uh, ready, getting ready for tomorrow now. And I'll be sending the last few videos off uh, to get edited. And, and that'll be Basel, and we're heading north. It'll be an absolutely fantastic feeling. Um, his last leg has been. Um, It's not been hard, but it's it just it got weird and awkward and sort of a lot of rain, a lot of extreme sunshine, it? like crazy conditions, thunderstorms, seems to be everything just hammering down. I don't know, it's maybe because the Alps are still quite close by, maybe it's the weather's altered by them, I don't know. Maybe it's just a general thing at the moment, I've, I've no idea. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, oh, Nell's been absolutely bloody marvellous, she's alright. I'll just give her a bit of an oil in and clean up tonight, she's ready to go again tomorrow. Um, yeah, going back to, yeah, Basel, yeah. Uh, yeah, on my way here, uh, I had a, a couple of campsites, so while camping. I've gone through the whole routine, really. Um, what I did this time, though, a bit, a bit careful, um, was uh, basically, 
I knew that Basel was a very sprawling, huge kind of a city, or a very urban, a lot of urban areas and a lot of industrial areas, especially on the Rhine side, which is a real shame, but it's there, you know, you can't take it away. Um, so what I had to do basically with Basel, if I'd have been in the UK, I would have just kept on pushing through and then stopped halfway at a hotel or somewhere or also. I'm not worried about it too much. But I really didn't want to get caught out in Basel. Uh, I have seen what they do to uh, vagrants at the, uh, when they, uh, people, had people don't hang them off the streets. Uh, they take it away really sharpish. Um, um, so I don't want to be among that, uh, them people. Uh, um, no wonder they have no wonder they don't reproach with uh, immigrants. Uh, no, God knows what to do with them. Don't go that much. Um, but no, I see now they deal with them. It, 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 it's, it's quite heavy handed and it's, uh, they're, uh, you know, people that uh, do sleep on these streets. Uh, are not tolerated, put it that way. No wonder they're all coming to towards Britain, because they're not wanted here. Um, so yeah, uh, it was a wise idea. I just snuck up as close as I could, and then literally just jumped on a bus, shot into the middle of Basel, went straight to the tourist information uh, place, and got a hotel straight away. The difference in hotels, price-wise, basically, I mean, I'm not even a cheap one, to be honest with you. I'll give you kind of an idea. In the centre of Basel, well, not the centre of Basel, the Swiss side of Basel. Well, actually, Basel is Swiss, but it's in segments, it's other countries as well. But near uh, the Swiss side of Basel, should we say, 500 and some odd pounds or so. Same sort of standard room as what I'm in now. Here, 67 pounds, 67 euros a night. It's not that bad, you know. I don't think. There's nothing that you, uh, you want in there, nothing you short of here. Um, does the job. And it stops me from being uh, arrested on the, on the streets of vagrancy. Because I would have never got across in one go. It is huge. It is, it is very sprawling. Uh, tomorrow, I mean, I, mean, I don't have any worries. I'm so far across the, towards the spring side now. I reckon with half a day I should be clear of the city again. And we should be back to the uh, while camping, which is tolerated in France. It's not exactly legal, but people are willing to turn a blind eye. Same with Switzerland, it's totally illegal in Germany. So, when we don't get back to Germany, we're going to have to be just a little tad careful where we go. Anyway, I guess that's it from Basel. I wish you all well and I hope you're all enjoying it. I hope we're putting a few coppers into that, shotting a few coppers into the boat. And I hope we're giving a few bob to them kiddies wanting wheelchairs. Anyway, we'll talk again later.